What's up guys? My name is Wes and this is Peace Parts and in this episode we're putting an airbox in this thing from a Miata. So a Miata airbox adapted to a Ranger MAF with some intercooler piping that I got from my Miata to adapt to the Ranger engine inside my 79 Pinot. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, so when I bought this engine, I got the wiring harness and uh, pretty much all the accessories to go with it, including like the whole stock intake and the stock Ranger airbox, which is this right here. So um, it had the mass airflow sensor bolted onto it right there, um, which is this little guy right here. And uh, I didn't like the way this thing sat. I wanted to try to use this. Um, I, w I wanted to try to have an airbox instead or just kind of make something work it's, it, at least uh, as opposed to just putting an air uh, like a cone filter on there or something. I just want it to be a little bit nicer than that. Uh, yeah, I don't know why. Anyway, um, this box has also been like cut. I guess they couldn't get the bolt out or something. I, I, I don't know. But this one's not in that great of shape anyway. And since I turbo that car, I took the stock airbox off of it, uh, which is this little guy right here. And the size and placement and angle of it actually fits way better in kind of the location that I'm shooting for in the uh, in the car here. So uh, this is from a 95 Miata, which is what that is, which has a, uh, a, a regular mass for sensor as well, which is this guy right here. Um, and it has a little uh, gasket right here that goes around there. And then that slides into the box, actually kind of like this, slides into the box over there and then bolts in using those two studs right there. So um, the problem is, this is obviously made for a, a Miata, which is a few years, only a few years newer than the Ranger engine. Um, it's could probably just like adapt the plug to make it work, but I'd much rather just use the Ranger mass airflow sensor that came with it and the computer already knows all that. Uh, at the worst case scenario, all I had to do is extend the wiring to get it to reach to that spot, um, which I don't think will be too big of a deal. So my plan is to adapt the um adapt the miata airbox to the ranger MAF, and then have a section of the intercooler piping right here and i've kind of got it mocked up here so um i will basically 3d design and print a adapter that kind of slots into here just like the factory one would with that little gasket around there S uh, stick that in there bolt it back through on these two holes right here uh, and then it'll have the four hole like adapter to bolt the Ranger mass airflow sensor onto it. Um, and then I can adapt the two together and the Ranger MAF will be basically connected to the Miata airbox. And this airbox actually sits in here pretty nicely, but I'm gonna make some tabs for it to actually bolt into. Uh, tabs I can just weld onto the uh, inner fenders there. And then there's this fresh air hole right over here and it actually kind of lines up almost pretty good with the, with the intake of the, the airbox, which is really nice. Uh, and then, of course, I have a stock panel filter in there, too, that'll be uh, really nice. So, anyway, then from there, it'll go to uh, a 45 silicone coupler reducer uh, from this size to that size. And then this bend works really well to go from there uh, and get it up to here. And then I'll just have a straight join here. This will have to be a reducer because this is too big right now. But you get the idea. So, um, that's kind of how it'll be in the car when I get everything done and uh, so basically my first task is to take this the Miata MAF the uh, air temperature sensor which was right there in the Ranger air box uh, which the computer wants as well so uh, I will be I'll be adding a bung in my adapter piece that I print to put the uh, air temperature sensor in there as well and then um, the gasket so I can slide it in there, bolt it on, bolt that on, and then we'll be adapted. So let's take all these pieces inside and uh, get to modeling. All right, so, get, so to get started off modeling, uh, I opened up Fusion 360. This is what I use for all my modeling stuff at home. And uh, I'm printing it on my Annette A8, you can see down there. Uh, I believe it was like a 16 hour print, which is like pretty much the longest print I've ever done on my printer. but. Um, I made it through just fine, didn't have any issues. I printed it in ABS, so that way it can uh, withstand the temperatures of the engine bay, uh, and hopefully won't have any warpage or anything. 
So I basically modeled up the flange that was the original Miata airbox, or the, the original Miata MAF flange there, you can see on the right side, and uh, then just kind of built out a tube <laughs> and then funneled it larger to match the uh, Ranger MAF and then put it on the flange for the Ranger MAF. And then I went back through and added some ribbing and stuff and uh, did a few other things, added the little hole for the intake air temperature sensor, added my holes for the inserts, and uh, here you can see basically the final part. I went through and uh, added my logo to the top and then changed how the flange went on the uh, Ranger side. I put in some inserts instead of just having through holes like that. Uh, but yeah, that's basically the final result. All right, now let's go put it all together and get it installed on the car. Okay, so this is the final part that I got here. Um, this is the original flange that the Miata Mass Airflow Sensor would have had that went into the airbox. Um, you can see I threw my little logo on there. I added these little spots here and put some uh, heat set inserts into the back here that bolts onto the, the part that bolts onto the Mass Airflow Sensor from the Ranger. Um, that way I didn't have to have a nut on the back side of there and just be easier to put together. Um, you can see here these are the two inserts that I put in there that bolt onto the uh, Miata airbox. Um, yeah, so turned out pretty good. and. Uh, Let's go ahead and put it all together. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on the Ranger mass airflow sensor. Uh, as you can see here, the two flanges are uh, unique. It can't go uh, any other direction. It has to go one way. So um, put it on there like that. Okay, now I got the MAF bolted onto the adapter. Um, let's pop in the intake air temperature sensor, just like that, and then twist to lock it. So there we go, we've got our two connections that the Ranger wiring harness already has, the mass airflow sensor plug and the intake air temperature sensor. So let's go ahead and put, put this onto the Miata airbox right here. And as you can see here, this, uh, this little gasket fits nicely into the hole of the Miata airbox. And then once it sits in there and is seated, those two bolt holes line up. Let's we'll pop our little bolts in there. There we go. Now the air, whole airbox assembly is ready to go into the car. Okay, so in order to mount the airbox into the car, I needed to have two, at, at least two places to mount the uh, box secure to the car. Uh, so you can, as you can see here, I very crudely welded a uh, bolt uh, standing straight up here. Uh, it's a little bit low. I mean, it's not fully threaded, and the bottom of it's a little bit low. Uh, so uh, I'm basically going to put another nut on there to space it at the correct spot and then tighten it down onto that. And then at the front, I built this nice little bracket right here. Uh, let's see if I can get to it here. There we go. So it's just a little L bracket. It's got a captive nut over here and then a captive nut on the bottom side. And then uh, I drilled a hole through the... Uh, the fender apron, whatever you want to call it here, and then bolted it from the inside of the fender well. So it's nice and secure there. And then uh, the bolt can just go in from the top there. Yeah, so once the air box is bolted in there, then I can put the intake pipe on from the box to the uh, throttle body, and it'll be good. So let's pop the air box in here right now. Nice and secure. So now the airbox isn't going to go anywhere. Uh, it's got a little bit of wiggle room and it's pretty close to the alternator down here. Um, but I, I think it'll probably be fine. Um, yeah, I mean, worst case scenario, what I could probably do is um, trim the little, a little bit of the airbox there or maybe even uh, cut that stud out uh, and then move it over and re-weld it. Uh, but I think it'll probably be okay. Um, but so we're just going to run it and see what happens. So then all I got to do is put on the intake pipe here. Uh, this is the stock elbow from the Ranger intake. I've got a piece of uh, intercooler piping. It's, it's basically a 90. I trimmed it a little bit, so it's a little bit less than a 90. Um, and then shoved the intercooler pipe into there. It was a little bit little bit of a tight fit, uh, which is why I don't have a clamp on there. I don't think it'll even need a clamp, honestly. And then a nice little reducer down to the throttle body. And we should be set to go. that and like that 
Okay, so let's tighten that up. All right, and then through, through all this mess of wiring, uh, I've got my mass airflow plug and my intake air temperature sensor plug. So let's plug these guys in here. Uh, whichever way this one goes. Goes like this. Boom, like that. Now we have an intake. And with that, that's gonna be a wrap on this video. Uh, as you can see, we got the in, the uh, air box mounted, and we got the intake pipe piping all sorted and everything. So intake is sorted, uh, which is super awesome to have another thing crossed off the list. Uh, we're chopping away at it, and uh, we're going to keep on going. So stay tuned. Uh, there's going to be more coming, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. <laughs>